everyone. I'm James Milan. Welcome to this episode of Talk of the Town. I am joined today by Mark Human, and Mark is a uh, Shine Leahy liaison. Now, you may wonder, what is that? We're going to get into that, don't you worry. Um, more importantly, uh, Mark is here to share with us uh, changes um, to Medicare that are going to be taking uh, effect this year and that are, are likely to be real good news for folks who qualify uh, here in Arlington and, and well beyond, obviously. So we'll look to kind of uh, dig into uh, some of those changes, um, and we'll do that a little bit later in the conversation. But first, let me welcome you. Hello, Mark. Thank you, James. Thanks so nice much to be for here. being here. Yeah, no, we really do appreciate it. Great. Um, and I wanted to ask you, you know, we do, we will get to the change, you know, discussing those changes, as I mentioned, but let's start just by, you know, finding out a little bit more about you and what brought you to this work and oh, sure. what, what it is that, you know, you are impassioned about, um, about it. I used to work as a project manager for big computer projects. That was my career. Mm -hmm. And I retired about 10 years ago and thought, I want to do something that helps people. And I heard about the SHINE program. The SHINE program um, was to help people understand Medicare, to solve problems with Medicare. And so I said, oh, I'd like to volunteer for that. And um, they said, well, you can volunteer, but there's a 10-week training course. And I said, do they think I'm stupid <laughs> that I need 10 weeks to learn this? <laughs> At the end of the 10 weeks, I said, can we have 10 more weeks? <laughs> Interesting, right? right? I mean, that was like one of the one of, one of the first kind of peeling away of the of the of the le the onion yes, layers right, there, right? Right. So um, and that's really, I guess, a reflection in a sense of just how complicated um, this work and explaining uh, this being able to explain and apply yes. uh, your it, knowledge. It's and, very complicated. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't necessarily make any sense, which makes it more complicated. And might not have even made sense if you had another 10 weeks, as Maybe. it turned out. Correct. Although I s assume you were not afforded that luxury. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you got right to the work. I think that that's, that, to me, that's really interesting in and of itself, the fact that you had this whole long working career which followed a you know a similar trajectory to many of you know what many of us understand about uh, our you know often white collar jobs that are you know benefiting our our employers uh, undoubtedly and perhaps other sectors of the world but the idea that you would retire at an age where you still had energy uh, still had that you know just just the the opportunity to really make a contribution to helping others. Yes, and then you, that was really my goal, and uh -huh. and I you, think I've done it. <laughs> that's wonderful, and that, that is really great to hear. So you mentioned, I mentioned at the outset in describing your, your job title that you are a Shine Leahy liaison. Um, you mentioned the program Shine. We should talk about it a little bit so that we should make sure that people understand it. Um, so um, I know that Shine stands for Serving health insurance for every, or sorry, needs. <laughs> serving health insurance needs for everyone. everyone. Correct. Love that. Love that, that for everyone piece, especially. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about what what the the uh, you know the program, the organization actually uh, is and does here in Massachusetts and beyond. Okay. Um, Shine is actually nationwide or the idea of helping people with Medicare and Medi Medicaid is nationwide. Um, Massachusetts piloted the program. Um, not sure when, mm -hmm. but... And um, in Massachusetts here, we have probably over 600 volunteers working on SHINE. Wow. Three of them are in Arlington, um, and Arlington's one of our bigger communities, mm -hmm. and we have three excellent shine workers here in Arlington. Well, I'll talk about them a little later. Mm -hmm. um, it's not totally easy to become a shine volunteer. You have to take an exam every year to make sure that you're up to mm -hmm. par on 
everything that's happening. You have to go to a meeting once a month where you'll learn whatever has changed that month. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we have a great group of volunteers mm -hmm. in the Minuteman area. And I work in, in the Minuteman area for through Minuteman Senior Services. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are a um, nonprofit multi-service agency that helps elderly and disabled people. In a lot of different ways, a lot I think, of different right? Ways. With information, with sometimes with food, you know, meals, del meal deliveries, all, all kinds all of things, All of that, right? case management, um, and Shine is just one of their services mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. we conduct through them. That makes and, sense. And I know from talking to you before we went on camera that, as you said uh, as well, you know, as part of the interview, you've, you've, you've stated that Shine is a program that is available across the country. Yes. But that Massachusetts piloted it. And I noted, uh, in terms of the acronym, how much I like that needs, you know, health needs for everyone. Correct. Um, I understand, and I'm not going to ask you to tell me what the acronym stands for in other parts, but in the rest of the country, it doesn't even go by SHINE, right? right? It goes by SHIP. S-H-I-P. Okay, uh, so we'll is... just, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys decide out there in the audience what that P stands for. Serving health insurance? Something. <laughs> right. Program. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, but I do think that, uh, I, I really do love that the 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 sh the shine acronym the acronym and what kind of what it what what lies beneath what 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 it means to say that you are you know truly serving the needs of everyone um, and again Medicare Medicaid these are programs that Americans of all ages know are absolutely sacrosanct. <laughs> Uh, yes. to the way that we live and age in this country. Um, and, uh, you know, every time, it, just most recently um, out of Washington, every time one of these pro kinds of programs is threatened or people uh, make noise about doing something uh, to, to effect, that could affect those programs, the chorus is loud and clear. Absolutely. Right, that these things yeah. need to be protected. Right. So I think everybody has that awareness of Medicare and Medicaid, but only when you get to my age, <laughs> I'm afraid, uh, and uh, or 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 you might have aging parents that you're thinking about or something like that. Only then do you realize both what a tremendous benefit Medicare and Medicaid are, but also how incredibly complicated and. Uh, difficult to understand uh, it is. a lot of the uh, requirements and the, as you said uh, for shine volunteers to have to actually attend a training each each month you said just to figure out or just to find out I guess what changes might have transpired since the previous month correct that that sounds like right. Medicare. Right. <laughs> and I've had, um, I've been a Shine counselor for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I've had people come to me and say, I have three PhDs and I don't understand any of this. Yeah. I've had lawyers come and say, how do I do this? Right. Um, I mean, I think that, uh, as you said before, about that 10 weeks of training and you thought, come on, you know, uh, I can learn anything. I right. could be trained, th thoroughly trained in anything in 10 weeks. And then by the time you got to the end of it, you knew enough to know what you didn't know. Right. And uh, that does feel, it does feel that way, right, to a lot of us who, for me, for instance, I'm looking at the onset of Medicare coming soon. And I'm quite intimidated by it, um, just by the demands of trying to figure out which options to choose, and then knowing what the the implications of all that is for my actual health care, et cetera. Uh, so all of that is to say, I hope in the future we can have you back to explain Medicare itself more I, thoroughly. I'd be glad to do that. And yeah. also, I usually start out my conversations with people that I'm here to unconfuse you. Mm -hmm. Well, so let's just start from from that premise. Yes. Yeah, that's that that is great. So, yeah, so why don't you um and unless 
Well, we can talk a little bit more about China as a program if you'd like, or we can get right into, you know, the, the, the changes that are transpiring this year that people should know about. What do you think? No, let's talk about China a little bit. Great. Um, as I said, there's probably 600 volunteers, three of them in, in Arlington, and mm -hmm. sometimes if we need more, I'm pulled in. Mm -hmm. So I have done some work in Arlington. Um, Where are you based out of? I'm based out of Leahy Hospital and Winchester Hospital. Okay. So um, more Winchester? Uh-huh. Yeah. And the um, appointments, people can come and see a Shine counselor at the Arlington Council on Aging. They need to call the Arlington Council on Aging and say, I want an appointment with a Shine counselor. And let me tell you about some of the things that they, you, they, they yeah, can yeah, do. They want to, first of all, understand and explain insurance to you. Um, it's complex, and it needs some gentle uh, <laughs> explanation. Um, and patience, yes. And patience, because there's these different parts. There's part A, part B, part C, part D. And, of course, they roll off the top of my head, but the, the, it won't mean anything to you mm -hmm. until you know what they yeah. are. Um, so... One of the things a Shine Counselor can do is find the right coverage for you, help you understand what it is that you need. Um, and we spend a lot of time talking to people. Um, most people come in and say, uh, my spouse is doing this, so I, I know what I want, or my neighbor is doing this. And right away we have to say, your health is different than your spouse's or your neighbor's, your health is your own and not everything fits into one mm -hmm. category. Mm -hmm. So um, that's important for people to know. And um, Yeah, because you've mentioned that, you know, I'll just say that my sister and I have, you know, uh, in these last few years, th because of caring for our mother, we have, um, you know, we have encountered a lot of what you're talking about. And I sure wish I had <laughs> talked to a shine counselor at that time, seriously, uh, because just like the uh, PhDs and other folks that you were alluding to before, uh, I'm a perfectly smart guy who spent his, his, his life uh, with, with, with text. And right. it was very difficult yes. to understand. And yeah. really sitting down with a person who could like you say, gently and patiently, kind of listen to where I'm at, to what, mm -hmm. to what I, what what makes me a particular profile in terms of, of my health, uh, and then be able to just say, oh, no, this here here's what you, and eliminate all of the rest of the stuff. Yes. What an what an yes. invaluable. Yeah. And even um, many people read before seeing a shine counselor, mm -hmm. Massachusetts is very unique. Massachusetts has rules that no other state has, mm. and um, I consider them all better. That's you know, great, but for, they are different. They are different. For mm -hmm. example, uh, most states have 10 ways to do what they call Medigap or to supplement Medigap. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts has two, and you only need two. Mm -hmm. and, um, that's great. Yeah, these sub again. This is we'll table this to some degree for that future conversation yes, sure. that really focuses on Medicare itself. But I will say that 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 was the single largest um, decision that we had to make, and also confusing piece was was how to supplement. Correct. Because um, for most of us, we'll need to supplement what Medicare offers Correct. in some way. Yes. And which of those to, to choose. Again, in Massachusetts, the fact that at least they've brought it down to a choice of two yes. uh, is, you know, very right. helpful. Right. So um, the other big thing that we do is prescription drugs. Um, that is a very complicated um, part of Medicare. Uh, we can help people figure out which is the best prescription health insurance to get because that's a separate Medicare in insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be very confusing. In example, Massachusetts has 26 different uh, 
insurance companies that cover prescriptions. Mm -hmm. They all have their own formularies. They all have a different price. They all cover different drugs. They um, and have different uh, cost, different amount for the same medication. So we can help with that. That's wonderful. Um, you know, I'll just, another aside, Mark, excuse me, but I sat at this very table not too long ago with Cindy Friedman, who is our state senator for this area, uh -huh. as she explained to me changes in uh, prescription drug policy at the state level uh, as part of a, a, a package that she was sponsoring um, as, as a legislator. And the, you know, the end result of that conversation was me saying, are you serious <laughs> that there is that much variability? And her identifying that as really one of the big challenges going forward for legislators is to uniformize this process right. and the prices, et cetera, uh, to a much greater degree, which might put some shine volunteers, might make the, some of those meetings a little shorter, uh, but undoubtedly, there will always be a need for shine. <laughs> right. And I'll talk about some of the changes in prescription uh, mm -hmm. insurance that's coming this year, coming mm -hmm. this year and coming in the future years. Okay, great. Um, but we can also help people lower their cost. We, can, we know almost everything about how to lower costs and that's very important to people. Mm -hmm. um, and we can help with billing questions. Sometimes there are need to appeal we can help with that. So a Shine Counselor can do a lot of information. Uh, I know the Arlington Shine Counselors work hard with the community and mm -hmm. um, they can help. And the best thing to do is call the Council on Aging, get an appointment, and they will speak to you. And go from there. That's great. Um, excellent, excellent information for uh, our population. All right, Shine itself is clearly a, uh, a program we're all, we, we can all benefit from. And again, it goes back to your original point in our conversation that you really wanted to spend these last number of years just directly being of service to others. Right. And clearly I can see how that is the case. It's very For rewarding. the work that you're yeah. doing. Yeah. So let's talk, we've got about 10 minutes left or so. Let's okay. talk about the, uh, the changes that are forthcoming. Sure. Um, most of the changes are going to be about prescription drugs. There, uh, the prescription part of Medicare wasn't passed till 2006. Mm -hmm. Before that, it wasn't part of Medicare. Wow. Um, and it was passed with the idea that um, Medicare cannot negotiate the prices, which has, of course, led to this Mirrored of what you were describing, Lusatin. right? Yes. The 26 companies um, here in Massachusetts. Right. In this past fall, the president signed the Inflation Reduction Act. And in that act, there were several things that would change about prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. And they are phased in over a number of years. So this year, 2023, for the first time, um, people that need insulin will be charged no more than $35 for insulin, $35 per month for insulin, which is an enormous saving. Mm -hmm. um, enormous. Yes. yes. In addition to that, this year, all vaccinations are free. They're paid for by Medicare now. Uh, so, for example, the shil shing shingles vaccine, which had been costing people at least $100 or $200 will be free. Wow. Okay. So that is change one. Coming down the pike, though, next year, 2024, there will be um, some increases in what they call the extra help or low income subsidy. Mm -hmm. More people will be eligible for that because they're raising the income level. Mm -hmm. So that won't happen until 2024. In addition to that, um, this gets complicated. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> At some point, you're paying for a prescription drug. It's usually 
maybe 25% of the cost of the drug. Mm -hmm. Then there's something called the donut hole, which actually was supposed to be gotten rid of, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. And after you pass through the donut hole, and these are all by how much you spend on medications, mm -hmm. you are into what they call catastrophic coverage, and that costs 5% of the cost of the drug. Now, we have medications that are $20,000 a month. Mm -hmm. So 5% is still a lot of money. Significant hit, yeah. In 2024, we're getting rid of that. Once you hit that catastrophic coverage, it will be free. Wow. So each of, the, e each of the things that you've just mentioned pertaining to pr prescription drugs, at very least, will lower costs for people. Yes. And or increase the number of people who are eligible for help of some sort Correct. with paying for this Yes, stuff. and in 2025, you will pay out of pocket no more than $2,000 a year for your prescriptions, and after that, it'll be free. No matter what. No matter what. So that, that's that is been amazing. enormous. Uh, and the year after that is when the government can start negotiating prices, and they have to start with 10 prescriptions and they will start with the most expensive mm -hmm. and that and gets added to through. every year mm -hmm. so that we're finally in a place where the government can negotiate the price and there's a lot of power in that because if you add up all the people that are taking a certain yeah. medication we Absolutely. can actually lower the price mm -hmm. so that's very exciting and that's all part of uh, what the president signed this fall great so. So costs will become, for, for those who are eligible for, or those in need of prescription uh, drugs for, as seniors, they can expect that their price, the, the prices that they'll be paying will be coming down. Yes. Each year yeah. until we get to a point, you said about four or five years hence, where 2000 will be the limit and that will be that. And Correct. given, as you said, that there are a bunch of drugs out there on the market that could be twenty thousand oh, dollars yes. per month. All the ones that you see advertised on TV. <laughs> right. There you go. That it's what a thing what a thing to anticipate. Yes. Wow. Great. Right. Is that is that the sum total of the changes? Those in, are the changes that were in the Inflation Reduction Act. Okay. Um, Great. So. And are there, you know, while I have you, because I have another five minutes, I'm, I'm wondering the 10 years of work that you've done in this area, um, if you had yourself a little magic wand uh, with, uh, you know, with the ability to kind of in, bewitch the legislative chambers down in Washington and get them to come up with some, some more changes to Medicare, what would you, what would be your your choices? Well, Medicare has some things it does not cover. It doesn't cover dental, it doesn't cover hearing, it doesn't cover vision. Those seem to be important things. Um, more, more and more people need hearing aids. Mm -hmm. More and more people have vision problems. It's a great um, point because yeah. hearing aids in particular are super expensive. They are super expensive. You and, know, uh, again, re referencing my own mother, uh, her, her, you know, hearing aids, which are in ear, you know, they're kind of implants, but they're $5,000 a year. Yeah. And so, yes, I mean, clearly. I'm aware of that. <sighs> yeah. So, and. Um, so part of what you would recommend or, or suggest or hope for would be that more things that are essential for folks would right. be covered. Dental is, you know, there's a lot of disease that are caused by people not caring for their teeth. Mm -hmm. And so it should be, dental should be covered. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you know, visual services, hearing services, dental services, uh, clearly you never stop needing those, right. right? Right. And in a lot of ways, you need them even more because of the health implications as you were yeah. mentioning um, as you age. So uh, definitely areas still to be uh, to be worked on there. Anything else that that would fit into your uh, wish list for you? Um, this isn't much as much a wish list as what we have available in Massachusetts, which we call uh, prescription advantage. Again, I'm talking about medications. And prescription advantage is 
unique to Massachusetts. It's run by the state of Massachusetts. Um, it will, it's income based, but it's a pretty high income. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look at assets, so it only looks at income. Wow. And it will help pay for your drugs if they get very expensive. But really what is unique about it is if you're a member of this, and many people have the membership for free, mm -hmm. the majority have it for free, um, you can, we can change your prescription plan in the middle of the year. So no one else can do that, um, usually. And, um, you know, you might go along and say, well, I'm taking two or three medications. It's not costing me much. I'm not paying much. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you get sick in the middle of the year and you're stuck not being able to change your insurance. Mm -hmm. This allows you to change your insurance. So that's a fantastic Massachusetts program. Mm -hmm. And I, I assume then that you would love to see that extended to other areas. Yes. I mean, other, other parts of the country. Yeah, some, of, some other parts have something similar. Mm -hmm. um, but, but again, Massachusetts benefit. is the lead on, on a lot of this. All right. Well, this has been extremely helpful. Um, and uh, really, uh, you know, the fact that you have described both what Shine does and how accessible Shine counselors are, again, through the Council on Aging here in Arlington. Um, and then, uh, and the reasons to speak to Shine counselors and how much they can help you through this kind of internecine, like, labyrinth uh, right. that is Medicare. Um, uh, that's wonderful in and of itself. But then also this, the fact that we can anticipate that prices are going to be coming down around really the most important piece in a lot of ways from our approach to things, the most important piece of elder care in a lot of ways, which is prescription drugs. Yes. Um, you know, this is all quite good news. We, we really appreciate you coming here and sharing uh -huh. this with us. I had fun and <laughs> enjoyed it. Good. I'm glad. Um, and really, we just expect that the next time we talk to you, you'll have more good news for okay. us. Okay? Absolutely. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I have been speaking with Mark Human, and he is the shine, now you know what that is, Leahy Liaison. Um, and uh, he has joined us, um, and we appreciate it very much. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for, for doing me. this work. Really appreciate it. Um, so with our thanks to Mark and our thanks to you for joining us, I am James Milan. This is Talk of the Town. We'll see you next time.